that no, count. No, that's good. That, that make no, you make no that You can think that your arrows are in sync and yeah. stop doing that much of this. I've, I've only got this translation. Well, I've got this Arabic by yeah. my Arabic. Translation. I always hate those memes saying it doesn't count. Is there any of you who can. Oh, sorry. Did you say 30, 40? F 33 versus 40. Oh, 30 Chapter 33, 40. verse number 40. Because we accept that there were prophets and messengers sent to every nation. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, right. in Surah Ra'ad, Surah 13, Ayah 7, Wali Kuli Qawmin Had. Could, one, to of them, could yeah. one of them have written the Bagadavita? The Bagadavita? You know what? We don't know. Possibility. We don't know. It's a possibility. However, this is no longer relevant to us. Because the legislation, the final legislation, was given to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For all of humanity. Yeah, for all of humanity. So even for, this argue, for, for the sake of argument, Bhagavad Gita yeah, may be valid. The seal of the prophets? Final prophet as well. Okay. Khatam. If you elongate khatam, it means uh, seal. Khatam meaning final. Yeah. And the Prophet Muhammad he was given many names. And in the hadith, one of his names, I, I am Al Aqib, meaning he's, no Prophet will come after him. So you're saying this word for seal is final? Or? Final, seal, meaning seal. Because, you know, because, yeah. No, sorry. Because the difference between a Nabi and the Rasul, a difference between a Prophet and a Messenger, is a Prophet meaning he renews the call, but he calls people to the same legislation that came before. So, for example, we don't say Adam is a messenger because he did not come with a new legislation. Why? Because the, because the oneness of God was pure. There was no shirk, there was no idolatry. Yeah. Uh, pro, uh, for example, Yahya, John the Baptist, uh, was not a Rasul. He was a prophet. The evidence is, if you read the Surah Maryam, Allah says, Ya Yahya, khudil kitaba wi quwa wa ataynahu al-hukma sabiya. That, oh Yahya, hold firmly to the book. The book here refers to the Torah. We know that the Torah was not revealed to Yahya alayhi salam. It was revealed to Musa alayhi salam. So a Nabi means he renews the call, but he's calling people to the same legislation. Yeah. However, a Rasul meaning he renews the, the call, but with a new legislation. And we believe that Noah was the first messenger. So Adam was not the first messenger. Adam was the first prophet, but, but Noah was the first messenger. So not all, not all prophets are messengers, but all messengers are prophets. So when Allah says in the Quran, that Muhammad is the seal of the prophets, he's the final prophet, that means there's no question of another legislation because he's the final prophet. Does that make sense? Seal. No, I haven't understood that. Okay, the difference between a prophet and a messenger is the prophet, he renews the call, yeah, he receives revelation, he renews the call and he calls people to the same legislation. So for example, John the Baptist, he called his people to follow the Torah. But the Torah was revealed to Moses. Moses was a messenger Gee, of God. John yeah? the Baptist, yeah. uh, as recorded in, in the Bible, kind of mostly pointed to. No, I'm talking about from Islam. No, I'm talking about Islamic perspective. I'm talking about from an Islamic perspective, not from a Christian or Jewish perspective. Right, so, what, so I'm so saying. saying that there's, that there's stuff about John the Baptist in. Well, we don't like to call John the Baptist, but he is referred to as Yahya. Yeah. Uh, John is not the correct translation. Yohanan is the Arabic. Yahya is a different uh, name, but it's referring to the same person. So Yahya, Allah spent, yeah, Allah, no problem. I'm, I'm only okay. talking from Islamic perspective, yeah. yeah. So Allah subhanahu wa taala He says, Ya Yahya, khudil kitab wa quwa wa atinahu hukma sabiya. That oh Yahya, we have given you the book. Um, hold firmly to the book. So the book here refers to the Torah. That's interesting. Right. So the Torah was not given to uh, John. Right? It was not given to John. The Torah was given to Moses. So what John is saying to the people is just go back to Torah. So he's a prophet, but he's not a messenger. Because a messenger means he receives a new legislation. So, for example, Moses, uh, uh, Moses, uh, uh, jo uh, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon, uh, peace be upon them. They were messengers of God. So, all prophets are messengers, but not all messengers. Uh, sorry, sorry. All, all, all prophets are messengers, but not all. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting. Not all yeah, yeah, all yeah, 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 not so, all. Yeah. So, is yeah. messenger does, does the word have any connotations that there is like? King. No, king has no, got nothing no. to do with messenger. Yeah, I mean, look, look. I know you're you're appealing to uh, David. He was the king, but there were. Yeah, uh, so yeah, was, yeah but Moses was, was not a king. But he's a messenger. Well, he kind of was. No, you say he kind of was, but I'm saying, but you're you're conflating, right? What I'm saying is, when the, when when the Quran mentions that Muhammad is the final prophet, that means no new legislation will come. So he's the final but prophet. Okay, but I don't read. Those words in the Bible that no new legislation. But no, 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 no. Again, in the, in the Quran, what? no. I'm talking from Islamic perspective. I'm not talking about from Christian right. perspective. No, no, no. But I'm, I'm talking about from the. the Are you a Christian? I, I believe. In Asalaamu Alaikum, Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu. What, what do you believe? I'm a Muslim, obviously. I what do you believe? In the, the, of the, the Bible. 
Bible, the King James Bible. King James Bible? Yeah. Okay. So you believe, uh, so are you a Christian? Or a Jew? Or what are you? I, am a, I suppose you could say I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ. Put it that way. What do you mean, a suppose? Are you. Disciple of Jesus Christ. So you're a Christian? Well. I don't think. I don't Jesus think. Did Jesus? Jesus no, did, no. did, did the Jesus? Bible doesn't say that. Did Jesus ever make the claim? Yeah. They were called yeah. Christians yeah. in Antioch. The Bible. Do you believe in God? No, I'm just saying. If it, yes. if it, if it says that you, uh, so what's Jesus. your understanding of God? Because I don't want to make any assumptions. I believe that Allah is the only one worthy to be worshipped. There is only one God that's worthy to be worshipped. He's one and only. He is self-sufficient. He was not born, nor was he. Be uh, he, he begets not. He doesn't father children or offspring, nor was he born. There is nothing unto him. There is no co-equal with him. That's who I believe to be Allah as God. What's your belief about God? What did Jesus teach about God? With God, all things are possible. He taught, he taught, he, he taught. His core teachings, his core teachings. What was his core teachings? The great commandment, it was about the great commandment in the law. The Shema. Yeah. yeah. Right. In the Gospel no, no, of Mark, so no, chapter no, 12, verse 29. The Shema, which is how the, um, the Jews refer the yeah. to it. Yeah. yeah. But most Christians okay. that come across yeah. have no clue. Yeah, why, why, why have they no clue? Because they're taught by. Yeah, I agree with you. But was Jesus a rabbi according to the Bible? He kind of basically did come. So as he, rabbi. so he was familiar with the Torah. Yeah. No, 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 so no, no, no. when he, he was, he was. He, was, he, was, he, was, he, was, he didn't learn. The way that David got his knowledge was by studying the Torah without any of the. And Jesus as well. And, and Jesus as well. Yeah. And, and one key thing that David said is, I have understood more than all my teachers because thy testimonies are my meditation. So, so you're not answering my question with all due respect. Like, what's your belief about God? Well, I think that... First of all, do you have any problem with the belief of Allah in Islam? Allah is one and only. Okay, not so not, not, not three in one, not two in one. God the creator, or, or the, uh, the God of the Bible, like a God of God, Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Yeah, yeah. So, and I think that's the same idea as yeah. of, of Allah. Yeah, Malik al Malik. So, yeah, so Malik al Malik. Yeah, he's the King of, of all Kings. Malik, yeah. That I get from the Bible is in Ezekiel, he talks about, I will answer them according to their idols. Okay. And that was a scary thing. And who said that? It was. What did you. Look, look, look. look. Uh, again, again. What's your belief about God? Because look. I say that Allah is one and only, yeah, not three in one, not two in one. Allah is self-sufficient, meaning Allah is not in need of anything. He's the master of all. He begets not, nor is he begotten, meaning he was not born. He doesn't father children. He doesn't uh, produce offspring. And there is no co-equal with him. Yes. Very similar sentence in the Bible, right? Okay. So you're against Trinity. There's no one like me in all. So are you are you a proponent of the Trinity, or are you against the Trinity? Well, I don't like the word Trinity. I'm not asking. All right, forget about the word Trinity. The concept. So there's some, but there's some nuance here. It's like people express some idea about it. Okay, but do you agree with their concept? Well, it depends what. It depends how you define the concept. So you, so you define for me. You define for me. Well, one one sense of it is is. There's a verse, um, the three that bear witness in heaven, the, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, mm. and these three are one. Yeah, but if you go and read the New International Version, this verse is not here. It's interpolated. No, it's been corrupted, right? Yeah, it's been corrupted. It's been added. Do you know who no, added? No, 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 it's taken out. Yeah, okay, it's no. taken out. Yeah, it's taken out. Mm. Do, you know, do you know the NIV? Do you know uh, where they go back? Do you know uh, where the NIV version goes back to? What, what did they, they base it upon? Okay, so... The King James Version is the most corrupted version according to the historical uh, consensus, and I'll tell you why. The, the no, 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 you're arguing according to the but you have many secular scholars. No, but you have many different versions. E even forget about the scholars. Even if I, I, I got New International Version, I got the New Revised Standard Version, which uh, this is the gold standard of uh, academics in Christianity. Uh, you have the King James Version. If you go to this verse, you're quoting from 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. Yeah. You will not find this in the New International Version. I uh, know. I don't know which version, or why I okay, so, what, so which version is correct? The King James. The why is the King James version right? 
it was prophesied that that, that should happen. No, no, no. That's your theological input. Why historically the text of receptors is the most reliable? Well, because you know NIV. I mean, in some, in some sense, you know the text of receptors go back to the 11th century. If you go to the oh, if you go to the Codex Sinaiticus, that is the oldest. Uh, co uh, that is the uh, according to Chessendorf, who was the founder of the, the Chessendorf. Yeah, Chessendorf. So he he was like. He found it in the yeah, 1844. 19th, 19th century. It's a 19th century text. Yeah, and they said that's your earliest. That's your earliest yeah. complete manuscript. But I didn't believe that. So you, you can't. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, uh, are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, you can. You can. Look, look. You can go into the biblical scholarship, even oh, Christian yeah, scholars, that, right? Yeah. So you don't know that Codex Sinaiticus is the earliest complete manuscript of the New Testament. I know what that, that's what they say. I but the text of but text of receptors is the 11th century. But I don't believe that either. I believe that goes back. Uh, no, no, no. Your belief is, is out of the window. It's about the evidence. First no, of all, no, I, can, I can give you evidence. But no, really, yeah. I, I kind of, in a sense, this book presents itself before you. You don't. Okay. Do you have any manuscript that goes back to the first century? This is, hang on, let me let me finish my point. I have the manuscript. I can do my best to work out historically. That's exactly what the, that's exactly what biblical scholars do. They're trying their best to reconstruct. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. That their methods are absurd, and they and one thing one thing you should know about secular scholarship biblical criticism. No, I'm not talking about secular. I'm talking about Christian scholars. Dale Martin. I'm talking about you know many many scholars no, who no, are no, still no. Christians. But but the, the Christian the Christian scholars the people no the the, the Bibles. They're relying on secular scholarship. No. Of you even have Christian scholars who are admitting that. Yeah. You don't have. Well, you don't, wait, 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 no, 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 no. You, 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 you see, you see. I'm, never, I'm not defending Christianity. You, you see, you see. I'm when defending it, the Bible. No, you see. When the Bible talks wait, about the corruption of the world. Wait, wait. Even so, you accept the Bible has been corrupted. I, the authorized version is the true version. So which one's the true version? The authorized version. I'm talking. What's the authorized version? It's the King James version. Did Jesus authorize the King James version? Yes. No, it was King James. 11th century. Text of receptors is up to the 11th century. Your, the oldest complete manuscript of the New Testament, the earliest that you have, is the 4th century, which is Codex Sinaiticus. According to who? And in the Codex Sinaiticus, the resurrection of Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus is missing in the earliest gospel, which is Mark. Okay, what's the earliest gospel uh, according to uh, Christian and biblical scholars? What's the earliest gospel that's written? M Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John? Well, they say it's Mark. They say it's Mark. But I say it's Matthew. Okay, you say it's Matthew. Yeah, yeah. You say Matthew wrote first. But Matthew copied 85% of the content from Mark. This is the way around. Give me proof. Okay. By the way, who's the earliest writer of the New Testament? Paul. 20 years. But none of all this, all your arguments are extra scripture. No, the point I'm trying to say is there is a level of question that you have to have with the Bible that you have today. Number one, there are many, many. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have to question, and that's Good. how that's how I got to believe it. So you, so, so, it's, it's yeah. much more from the text itself yeah. than from any historical idea. Okay, so I mean, what? So, when I, when what I, so why First Epistle of John, chapter five, verse seven? Why was this missing in the fourth century manuscript, but it's ad, but it's it's in the eleventh century manuscript which you have, which is the text of receptors. By Rome, by Rome, by by, by, do you know who added back Erasmus? Erasmus, wrote, uh, you, you need to look into this because look, because look, 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 look. Imagine we have something like the Quran, for example. The Quran was revealed 49 years ago. The thing is, and 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 all of a sudden you have a different version of the Quran, and that verse is missing. What would you say? Yeah, I would say that. Uh, would you would you rely? Mathematical structures of the Quran, and if you take one verse out, it all falls down. Good. So that's exactly what's happened with the Bible. No, uh, it's yeah. been taken out. Right. But that's why I trusted the King James because of the mathematical beauty and structure of it. No, but no, 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 no. You misunderstood the point. The King James version is based on the text of receptors. That right. manuscript is 11th century. It's but you have earlier manuscript. Wait, 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 wait. Let me complete. You have earlier manuscript with, uh, okay. than that, but, but, okay. which is the Codex Sinaiticus, which is the fourth century. So between that, how many, how many centuries between fourth and 11th century? 500 years. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You've asserted that it's fourth century. The, the scholars assert that also. Why is okay? Why is the first epistle of John chapter five verse seven? Why is this missing in the earliest manuscript? Because that not, means the king. The so it's the other way round. It's the other way round. That means the King James version added it. Mm. Come on, logically makes sense. Look, no, it, look, look, no, look. No. look the text is receptive. I'll give an example. Okay, do you have you heard of the thing called the majority text? Sorry. The majority text. No. The majority text is like 
the way that the way that the text used to work is that all the manuscripts agreed. There was a, you know, you might occasionally find an error. But you can I'm not talking about error. I'm talking about insertion and addition and subtraction. Because of course there are scribal errors. There's no problem with that. But what I'm asking you, what I'm asking you is, why? Okay, for, for example, I wrote a book. For example, I wrote a book in 20, 2023. Okay, and I have a sentence that is missing in my later edition, my later version. Who added? Who took it away? Okay. Do you see? So wait, wait. So similarly, 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 your your complete new new manuscript, the New Testament, your earliest is the fourth century, not even in the first century, fourth century, four hundred years after Jesus, right? Which is roughly three hundred and eighty-five. I'm not sure. That's the that's the that's the that's the date that the historians are giving, right? In that Codex Sinaiticus, which is based, which where the New International Version is based upon, that verse of First Epistle of John, chapter five to seven, is not there. So, the King James Version, which is based on the text of Receptus, is in the 11th century. Now, all no, the no, Christians... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't agree with your premises. This is the problem. Okay, okay. You You're tell me saying what. that it's old. That's the argument that the Bible corruptors make. <laughs> They're saying that this, uh, this text that no one knew about before the 19th century yeah, that, is somehow very old. It actually strengthens my, my, my point, because everyone... So, so, the King James Version is based on the text of Receptus, which is based upon the 11th century manuscript. Before, so the, wait, 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 let me complete, let me, com let, let me complete, that. before the discovery of the Codex Sinaiticus, all Christians believed that First Epistle of John chapter 5 verse 7 was authentic. Absolutely. Until the discovery of the Codex Sinaiticus by Tessendorf in 1844, wait, no, 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 okay. listen, listen, until the discovery of the Codex Sinaiticus in the year 1844 by Tessendorf. And when they examine the manuscript, it goes back to the 4th century, which means it predates to the text of receptors, this verse is missing. So that means so the, that's the argument. No, no, no. That, wait, 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 wait. Let, let me complete. Let me complete. Therefore, it is the other way around. It is the text of receptors. Whoever wrote it added that verse, but the oldest manuscript is not there. Okay. So it's actually the other way around. According to you, and according it's to logic. Others. It's logic. If I look, look, I, look how, how it's you, logic. How do you verify? How do you verify that the text is? You authentic? can check yourself, Codex Sinaiticus. You go to the British Library. You can check for yourself. You can check the Codex Sinaiticus yeah, website. And, and I know people who've, who've looked at the manuscript and uh, said oh, yeah, it doesn't look old. Everyone, to me. every Christian knows the Codex Sinaiticus. No, they don't. Most of them have no fucking go, clue. Go, 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 go. Okay, now you're getting emotional. Please uh, be careful, right? <laughs> Sorry, pardon, pardon. All right. Most of them are totally in the dark. About right. This the, the problem is, you need to look into history, Erasmus. Erasmus, yeah, yeah, I Erasmus actually I've removed heard this. All this history. Don't think that I've not But that's heard your church father. But what I'm saying is that if you ask the scholar, if you ask the scholars, you say that this, they can tell that it's fourth century by the style of writing, right? So, uh, so text of receptors. Why is that? Why is that more authentic? Well, it's, it, it was, Apply the same standard. The, the biblical standard that the mouth of two or three witnesses is the truth established. So now you're appealing to oral tradition. You have no oral tradition that's no, no, reliable. No, no, no. I'm just, but, but, I'm, but, but, the, the different arguments I'm making. For a start, I don't really, I don't really care where the Bible comes from. In, in then sense. take care of yourself. Then, no, no, then no, that's no, it. No, 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 no. Then you have no standard. No, in a sense, There's no standard of truth then. No, no, there is a standard. Then, then accept New International Version. Then accept all the New Revised Standard Version. Accept all of it. Then. No, no, no. Because, because, no, because I look at the text to see whether it authenticates itself. I'm not even, Lola, I'm, never, I'm not making the claim that the most authentic is uh, because I don't believe no, the New Testament. The claim no, that the no. Is old. I, don't, I don't believe that claim. Oh my God! I can tell you reasons why I don't believe that. No, wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Go and speak to other Christians. They all know that Codex no. Sinaiticus is predated to the fourth century. It's it's it's, it's it's known. They've it's known by necessity. It's known by necessity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the, but the okay. Say that. Wait, 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 wait. Why does the New International Version? Why doesn't it include the resurrection of Jesus? Why did they put a footnote by saying it's not found in the ancient manuscripts? Because the, because the earliest gospel out of the four is the gospel of Mark. Okay. Now, according to scholars, they they dated uh, Mark's gospel to 40 AD, 40 years after Jesus, according which is 70. No, because the destruction of Jerusalem happened in 70 AD, and you have Mark's gospel before that. So definitely, it's within the 70 AD, right? So you know you need to look into it, right? Secondly, se secondly, Matthew's gospel was written around 65 to 70, Luke around the same time, and John's gospel was written 90 to 110 AD. Okay. When you go back to the New International Version, they based upon the Codex Sinaiticus. In the Codex Sinaiticus, there is no resurrection of Jesus. 
they say if you read in, in Mark chapter 16 verse 8 onwards this is all addition it's not it's missing in the Codex Sinaiticus but it's found in text of receptors in the 11th century why why did the King James Version why did they add well I think that because it was in the majority text which is preserved text. the majority text People, look, the Christians are going by the King James Version for many years, right. for many centuries, until the Discovery Codex Sinaiticus. Now, Christian scholarship has changed. It has changed. It has changed. No, it has no, changed. Not it's revolutionized. It's revolutionized. The, you know, the Discovery Codex Sinaiticus. Because it, they can make money out of it. That's why. Oh, okay, then take care of yourself. Then, then. No, no, uh, look, look, I'm being very serious. Like, I'm, I'm being, being academic. Very What's your name? David. David. Nice to meet you, David. My name's Right. Look, well, all, I'm, all I'm saying to you. Look, no, all, no, but, I, all I'm saying to you that look, I don't want to waste my time talking about the reliability of the Bible because you brought it up, right? What I'm saying to you is that the belief in God in Islam, it aligns with your heart and your mind. That there is only one God. Yeah, okay. not two in one, not three in one. Do you agree with that? Well, what's it, what's it, what do you mean not three in one? What does the three in one mean? Like, for example, no, no, th th there's no one besides him. He's the only true God. The only one he deserves to be worshipped. Nothing's like him. He's not like his creation. Do you agree with that? I'm not sure I do because it says I'll make man in my own, my own image. Uh, go and read the next verse. Uh, you're quoting from Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Right. Read the next verse in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. If you read, look, look that, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. That's the problem. No, many Christians, on. many Christians, they don't read their Bible properly. I read the Bible. Okay, I've read the Bible for many, many years because I went through the Christian school system. So I know this, right? right but what's happening? You... What's happening is that, look, Almighty God in the Old Testament always speaks about, always stresses the oneness of God. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4, the Shema. Shema Yisra'inu Adonai Ilayhainu Adonai Echad. Hero Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. If you read in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39, it said, I am God and there is no God besides me. What, does, what do Christians say today? The Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God, but these three are not three gods but one God. But, they are, but you have partnered, you have partnered Jesus with the Father. You partnered with divinity. The, that's not what my scriptures say. Good, so I'm you, not arguing. Good, so you believe in one God only. The creator. Well, okay, he and Jesus, that. was he a prophet or was he God? Well, well it's a, there's, there's depth there because it's not that simple. No, was, no. What's, was what? Moses God? Ah, I know what you're bringing up. You're bringing up Exodus chapter 7 verse 1. Right. Yeah? That Moses was made as Elohim to Pharaoh. I know right, that. Right. right. Okay. But if you read in the New Testament, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 34, Jesus says to the Jews, is it not mentioned in your law that I said ye are gods and you are the children of the Most High? So Elohim is not, a div is not necessarily a divine title. It could be used for humans. Right. Okay. So therefore, if you go to the Jewish scholars, right, Jewish scholars, they all say that Elohim, but in terms of, the, they what, say there's, a, there's only one Elohim, but even humans can be called Elohim. Why? Then he says like, why do you accuse me because I say I am the son of God? It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. You're quoting from Mark chapter 10 verse 18 and you're quoting from Matthew chapter 19 verse 17. I know what you're quoting. Let me find it. Basically, there was a, a, a Jew, he asked Jesus that I have, I have kept all the commandments. What good things shall I do so that I may attain eternal life? So Jesus says, why do you call me good? For there is no one but God. But if you read in Matthew's gospel, which is based upon the same story, Matthew changes it. Because it's the, based upon the same story, but he changes the meaning. What does it say in that? So it says that the, a man approached Jesus and asked him that, Good master, what things, what things should yeah. I do? Should I maintain eternal life? Jesus says this time, Why is it that you ask me good? Okay. See, who's changed? So now Matthew, why is he twisting? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Two things are literally yeah? I don't want to waste my time talking about reliability because I don't think it's a good okay, no, no, interfaith no, no, dialogue. I, I agree if you can that, agree that there's only one God, and that there's nothing like him, then you cannot say Jesus is God because Jesus is like Jesus is like human beings. Jesus used to eat and drink. Is that simple? So you get a lot of black I, 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 I waste my time debating with about the reliability of the Bible. I just want to say that, look, let's, yeah. Allah mentioned the Quran in Surah 3, Ayah 64. Yeah, but, but, so, so, okay. okay, go on, go on. Go on. So, so I'm speaking too much, sorry, apologies. Okay. This, this is my view. I believe in the King James because like, when I've dug into anything about the King James, yeah. it turned out to be correct. It turns out to be correct. Yes. So let's say for the sake of argument is correct. This verse, first of John chapter five, verse seven, that there are three that bear record in heaven, yeah, yeah, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So do you believe that there's only one God? But it depends what you mean by no, that. No, I'm asking you. One God who is alone okay. and nothing like him. Uh, not uh, one in three, not one in two, he's way. alone. 
but the, what I refer to back as, as uh, Ezekiel, well, I was referring to Ezekiel saying, God shall answer them according to the idols. So when people make a mother God, so like you make a God of Buddha, say. Now, according to the biblical language, what does God mean? It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean the divine. God can be also be used meaning he's the representative of God. So, for right. example, Moses, if you read in Exodus right. chapter 7, verse 1, this is why many Christians... So, so wait, 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 let, let me continue. What mean by this is why... Me, that, that's, what, that, that's what I'm saying. It's about the language. Yeah. Well, many, many, you. look, many, many... And this is the reason... Uh, no, no, I agree with you. Right, right. The, so word, you the, the, the word Allah, the name Allah... No, 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 the name... Look, even I feel uncomfortable saying Allah God because God can be twisted around. You can say goddess, female God, but Allah, there's no such thing as female Allah, male Allah. Allah is nothing like unto his creation, right? So I agree with that. I agree with that. God, is a, it comes with a negative connotation. So, but, but wait, wait, let me complete. If you read the Bible in the Old Testament, all Jews recognize that there's only one God. This God is not a man. If you read in Hosea chapter 11, verse 9, God is not a man. Was Jesus a man? Yes, he was a man. So therefore, he cannot be God. Is that simple? I don't think, I don't think it's that simple because we've got all things So do you believe Jesus is God or, or is he a prophet of God, messenger of God? He's the Messiah. He's the Messiah. Is he God or prophet of God? So who's the word of God? Who's the word of God? The word, okay, the word of God. Okay, this is a, another misunderstanding, right? The word of God meaning Allah says be and it is. Meaning Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions in Surah 3, Ayah 59, إِنَّ مَثَلَ عِيسَى إِنَّ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ آدَمْ خَلَقَهُ مِنْ تُرَابٍ ثُمَّ قَالَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُنْ That indeed the likeness of Jesus in the sight of Allah is like that of Adam and he created from dust, says be and it is. So Almighty God, all he needs to say is be and it is. So he created Adam without a mother and a father. He created Eve from the rib of Adam. He created Jesus without a, a father. And he created me and uh, all the rest of us with mother and father. That does not make Adam God. That does not make Jesus God. Exactly. It only demonstrates God's power. He can diversify his creation. We when we say the God? word of, when we say, look, look, when you because say, are you, uh, are you saying that Elohim can mean refer to people? That's the reason why you need to go back to the Hebrew language so, and actually so, understand what so, Elohim so, means. So if you go to the first verse in the English Bible, it uses God yeah. for Elohim. Berashit Elohim. Right. Yes. Right. What does Elohim mean here? <laughs> well, it means Elohim. And it what means does God. Elohim mean? How do okay? How do you, Elohim, do you know? Do you, right? do you know? Do you know how Jews? Do you know how Jews can determine Elohim refers to the Creator and Elohim refers to humans? Because in the Hebrew language, you look at the verb. So whenever it's used in singular, it refers to the one Creator. When it refers to the plurality, is referring to humans. That's how the Hebrew language works, right? That's do the reason. You think why, humans created man? No, 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 no. This. No, no, no. This is your lack of understanding the Hebrew language. Okay, well, fair enough, but what? Yeah. So Elohim, Elohim needs to be defined. Okay. Elohim needs to be defined. Elohim is it referring to the one and true God? Because Israelites are also called Elohim. Does that make them God? No. That means there's an understanding. Jesus Christ, oh, no, peace be upon on, him. On, wait, wait, wait. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. When he responded to the Jews in the Gospel of John, chapter ten, verse thirty-four, where did he quote from? Did he just make his stuff up? No, he's quoted from Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. That is it not mentioned in your law, in your scripture, that I said, God says, the creator, God says, you are Elohim and you are the children of the Most High. So Elohim can mean children of God, sons of God, meaning the righteous no, you're, servants you're, of God. You're starting from the conclusion that people can't be God and therefore Elohim when he said God. It's a language. This is the problem. Many Christians are not aware of the... Hebrew language, and that's why they misconstrue the Old Testament to try and fit into right, the theology of Jesus. I, no, no, but I rely on reading the, reading the Hebrew or reading the Arabic. The You're way, going by translation. Reading. This what? is the problem. You're going by translation. But if you go back to the original I, 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 Hebrew... I believe that translation has been inspired in the same way that I believe the Torah no, 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 no problem. For the sake of argument, what I'm saying is Elohim can be used to humans. It can be used to... But no Jew, no, no Jew will say, I'm a God. Even though Israelites are called well, as Elohim, right? It means, not, it no, means, no, they, wait, they, wait, wait, no, 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 because God, did, no, no, God defines what he meant when he said Elohim. If you read in Psalms chapter 82, verse 6, he said, I said, ye are gods, you are Elohim, you are the children of the Most High. So Elohim means here, you're the children of the Most High. That means they're representative of God. That means, that means they are implementing what God has told him to do. So that does not mean they're divine. Well, you know, you're telling me all these meanings, but it's not what it just says. And that's where I the, bring your all, evidence. All my bring your, with bring you your proof. Is not is in the understanding of what the words mean. In uh, it's like the scriptures have no problem with 
Um, no, uh, uh, no, no, no. According to Jews, they have no problem with the scriptures. The problem is the, the Christian understanding of the Old, of the but, Old but Testament. I'm not, I'm not advocating the Christian understanding. I'm, I'm trying to get to an understanding. No, 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 you, no, no, no. You mentioned about uh, Elohim, Moses called Elohim. So I'm only responding to that. Right, but because what you're trying to what no no what, no 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 no, 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 no. what you're but you don't understand but you don't un, you don't understand how the Jews understood this this but phrase I care what how the Jews understand. Wait, I want to know how God wait 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 so 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 wait wait, wait wait okay yeah, wait wait seriously. wait wait one second so seriously. you don't you don't care what Jews are. let's say uh, do you care what Jesus has to say sure okay so when Jesus quotes from Psalms eighty two verse six that the Israelites are gods does that mean Israelites God. Forget about the Jews now. Even Jesus is appealing to the Old Testament. So you can't have, you can't eat your cake Maybe, and not yeah. eat it at the same time, Maybe. right? So what That's I advise you, what I advise you is that read the the Old Testament, read the Tanakh according to the understanding of the Jews. Why? Because this is their no, language. No, no, no. I, I don't, Why? Okay, I don't believe in that. Hermeneutic. But you, but you appeal Isaiah no, 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 fifty-three. But you're you telling me. So you, we started this discussion. <clears throat> the only thing you said. It's like when someone tells you something, you've got to go to the scriptures to check that it's right. Yeah. So, so how do you verify it? By, uh, by, by checking it. So rabbis, How do you check rab it? rabbis get stuff wrong. Rabbi gets stuff wrong, but yeah, they will not get they will, they will not get stuff wrong, wrong about theology. The theology is the most so important. You're that they got? Okay, when Jesus quotes, okay, when Jesus quotes, so you okay, say, you okay, say, you okay say, for the sake of argument, right. David, wait, for no, the no, sake no, of wait, argument, wait, wait. you don't trust the rabbis. When Jesus quotes from Deuteronomy chapter six, verse four, how did Jesus understood the Shema? Hero is your the Lord, the God, the Lord is one. Did he understood, I am God. The Holy Spirit is God, the Father is God, but these three are not three gods but one God. Did you understand like that? Did Moses believe in this? Because he's only going by no, Moses said. Yeah, yeah, that's not, it's so now you're going to dis dismiss what Jesus says now. I don't like to quote the Bible, to be honest. I just say that, look, do you believe there's only one God? If this one God is not like his creation, but you're, you're he's... Trying he, to put, you're trying to label me into a particular position. That's why I'm asking you right from the beginning, what's your belief about God? The okay, how, why is and, and why, and why, and depth why is this tree not God? Well, in, in a sense, the, the, the spirit of God pervades everything. No, 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 no. You, you're not answering the question. Why is this tree not God? So you have a criteria in mind, right? So you can what distinguish between a false god and a true god, right? So now I'm asking no, you. I've got a criteria about what scriptures are true. Okay, so so implement. So I wouldn't you pray to that tree. Why wouldn't you pray to that tree? Because. I'd pray to the, to the, Did Jesus the most high God. Good. Didn't Jesus pray to the Father? Of course. So why is he worthy to be praised? Why should why, why are Christians I praising really, the, I, I pray really the Father? Care to pray, be praised. Pray. No, no, no. You, you're not understanding the point. He never asked anyone to worship. You're, you're not understanding really the point. Good, good. He, nobody said he worshiped. Good. So you believe that Jesus is not God. He's the messenger of God. That's really what we Muslims simple. believe. Yeah, yeah, really Let's forget really about really the Bible. Let's forget about the Bible. Really I'm just saying, that, Jesus. Therefore, it's, it's, it's not that simple. You can look at things from two different Oh, but you like to complicate things. Well, no, something God, something God, God is one and only. Are you saying you never find something difficult in, in the no, Quran? No, nothing's difficult. You've had Alhamdulillah. It's straightforward. And yeah. No, yeah. You, you never because you know what? The, the, because you know, you know the you beauty. Never learn anything no. The, the because you know the beauty. Before. Only those who choose to do so. Because Islam, Islam is the only deen. It is the only way of life. Islam means you submit to Allah alone in His worship. You you sing well, what, them out. What does that word worship mean? Because okay, good. Worship. Worship in English good. might mean something different. Worship. From, worship from means. The worship means. Worship means that you 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 be humble and you submit to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in a state of love while you glorify him and praise him. And worship is based upon two pillars, which is your niyyah, your intention should be based upon that you're only doing it for the sake of Allah. You're not doing it to please the people. You're not, you're not there to please the creation. You're here to please no. your creator. Is wait, wait, let me, I'm, I'm answering. Yeah. The, sec the second pillar is based upon the actions, meaning the actions that is in accordance to the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the actions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. So these are the two pillars of worship that's accepted. If these two are not accepted, all of your acts are rejected. Now, does that answer your question? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions... But, but, but yeah. One thing I want to ask you about that is, is, is that understanding the summary in this, what the scholars say, or is that... Meaning, you, okay, what, what... Are those pillars written as pillars in the Quran, or is yeah. that just kind of the digestion No, of sometimes it? you take the usul from it, saying, sometimes you take the... Uh, you derive the understanding from it. So, for example, the Prophet, peace be upon him, he said, Dua al-ibadah, Dua is... The essence of worship, du'a meaning you invoke, you call. Right. That means your du'a, your invocation, your call, your prayer should only be to the Creator. So let me ask you this question: okay. Did Jesus pray to the Father? Yeah. Did the Father pray to the Son? Yes. 
the father preached to the son? In, yes. His Where? He, he asked this question about Psalms. Um, it's in, he says... The father preaches to the son? He says, yes. Sure. Are you sure? Let's go to the you can, you can Google it. Like, let's make it simple. Let's make it simple. Yeah. Did, did, wait, let, let's make it simple. Did Jesus say he has a God? Well, I think he used the word a God, but okay. yeah, he talks right. about God. No problem. And he prayed to the Father. And he and prayed he, to the Father. Wait, wait, wait. Did the, the did, the, did, did the Father has ever said to Jesus, Jesus, please help me. Please go out my prayer. Rather, if you read in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 139, Jesus Christ, peace be when he goes to the Garden of Gethsemane, what did he say? Yes, yes. He said, oh, Father, take this cup away from me, for it is not your, for it is not my will, but your will. He's asking help. Did the father ever ask the son for help? Never. Why? Because Allah is a samad. Allah is not in need. The father is not in need. But the son is in need of the father. Okay, where does it say? Okay, David, 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 look, look, let me ask you this. Does, look, look. Let me answer if you Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. David, David, look, 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 look. You still haven't answered the question. Does the belief in Allah, in Islam, does it make sense to you? Does it agree with your heart and your mind? Okay. This is the, I can tell you what I've got so far. I've examined the, the, the Bible for decades. Okay. And I'm like, this whole question about the reliability of the text, which the correct text is, yes. is like, is very important to me. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. And I've seen there is depth of science and maths and mathematical structure there and checksums that mean that I know that I've got the correct text. Or at least it should tell me what, when I've, I can tell when I've not got the correct text. Okay. And like, you know, if I have a Quran, I don't know whether it's 100 percent correct. So let's right? say for the sake of argument, because you can have a scribe good, error, good. A so, error, so let's right? say for the sake of argument, all these beautiful complexities in the Bible. If the Bible mentions worship tree, would you would you worship the tree? I if the Bible if the Bible says, if the Bible says, you know, the tree is God. Human is God, fox is God, cow is God. Would you believe it? Be honest. Because you're not going to find this in Islam. Alhamdulillah, Tawheed, pure monotheism, the oneness of God. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say he is Allah one and only. Allah samad, Allah the independent, self-sufficient. He doesn't need to eat or drink. Every creation is in need of him. He's not in need of his creation. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is he begotten. There's no co-equal with him. There's nothing like him. You know, this agrees with your heart and mind, but I cannot, my heart and mind does not agree with Jesus being God because Jesus used to eat and drink. Jesus used to pray to God. That does not make sense. That's the reason why Islam is called right, right. Dinu Okay. Do you understand? I don't care. The, uh, look, look, with all due respect, David, da da sense. David, with all due respect, I don't care about the complexity of the Bible. If the Bible mentions about absurd stuff, I'm not going to believe in it. If the Bible or other scriptures say that, you know, the tree is God, I'm not going to accept it. So you're going to start with a presupposition, and that's that lacks two minutes. I'm saying the most important discipline is God. Then scripture. Do you believe in God? One God only who's not like his creation. He doesn't father children. So you think he's not born. But how do you know God? Outside is God scripture. anything like his creation? You were pointing me at this, this Genesis 1 verse 27, which I need to now... No, 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 don't digress. Is God like anything on his creation? Yes or no? Well, he made man in his own likeness. Do you know what that means? Well, it, mean, it means he made man in his own likeness. No, it means in the language. Meaning that when God created Adam in his image, that does not mean that God is like Adam. It means that, you know, we can appreciate his creation with the attributes of eyes and hands. That's what it says. It's the language, that is, okay? That is quite a good understanding. Exactly. So what I'm saying is that does not mean but that... Mean and, by, and, 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 by, and by the way, by the way, many Christians, they use this to quote, Elohim is a plural. That means there could be father, son. But if you read verse 27, it says he, singular. Only one entity, not three entities. So the point is this. If you agree with me that God is nothing like his creation, Jesus cannot be God because Jesus was born. Jesus has a beginning. God has no beginning, no end. But do you know what he means? Huh? Do you know what he is? And this is, this is science. This is what no one knows. He is. He is helium. It's the sun. No, no. We're not talking about, we're not talking about chemistry. We're not talking about... I mean, 
no, no, no. Okay, with all due respect, look, 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 David, David, I think, I think I'm going to end the discussion here. It's nice to meet you. That look, what I'm trying to convey here is that look, we as Muslims, we believe that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Almighty God, He created us with a purpose, and the purpose of our creation is to worship Him alone. And He sends prophets and messengers with the same message to worship God alone. And Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the last and final messenger. I yeah, and it's the that. and it's I, the I final legislation. And we believe that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with proofs and evidences, so we believe in him, we follow him. And one of the proofs is the Quran. The greatest miracle is the Quran. The Quran is a book that no human being could produce like it. And this is a challenge that is eternal, I, I up until the day of judgment. Is, I think I agree with you about the Quran. Okay. But if you give me a Quran in the same way as you gave me a Bible, yes. And how would I check every single? You're comparing thing? apples with oranges. That's the problem. The Quran is pristine. It is preserved. It is memorized in people's hearts. It is not corrupted. Right, but you Read the Bible. You the, Bi the Bible, on the other hand. Okay, but if you, are, yeah. you, you can't use that argument. Oh well, it's been memorized for centuries because that's an, that's external to the Quran. Sorry, say that again. I didn't what catch you're saying that. Is if you just say, well, this is just being preserved. I can make exactly the same argument about the Textus Receptus. Uh, did I say preservation is the only miracle? I'm saying preservation lays the foundation to appreciate the miracle of the Quran. Why? I, because if the Quran, oh, wait, wait. Okay. If the Quran is corrupt, if the Quran is corrupt, and you have different versions, then which version should we test? But Alhamdulillah. The Quran has no version. It is one Quran. And you know, we, we, this is the month of Ramadan. This is the month of fasting. We recite the whole Quran. And you know, I watched a video. And many people do this. An old, ad, an adult Muslim Imam reciting the Quran. A child corrected him. A 10 year old kid corrected. You watched the video, yeah? 10 year old kid corrected it. It's memorizing people's hearts. You know, the. Yeah, it's on YouTube. The Bible, on the other hand, you know, you have different versions. Which one is correct? You don't the, know. The authorized version. I do know. But did Jesus ver uh, did Jesus authorize the yes. King James version? It's called King. Well, yes. it's, it's not called. It's not called Jesus version. It says King James version. But that's been spoken about from the beginning. <laughs> it's called King James version. It's not called Jesus version. But that's. But there's prophecy of that throughout Scripture. No, no, no. You, you, you see, now no, you're conf see no, no, no. You're no, conflating. No, no, no. We've all just, David, David, joking. David. We've all respect. You're conflating with theology and historicity. I'm talking about the theology. The theological aspect is, you know that God is only one. He's unique. He's nothing like God's creation. He but doesn't okay. beget children. You I, still haven't I, answered I could, the question. I could, Do you agree I with that? Recite, recite that form of words. Do you agree it's with meaningless that? Meaningless unless I understand. No, it no, 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 no. I'm saying to you. No, but seriously. I'm saying seriously, to you. You can't just. I can. I can, I can give oh. some Christian. Okay, do you know, do you know what, what, is the imp what is the greatest commandment according to Jesus? The, the great commandment. The greatest commandment. The, um, the Did he say the greatest commandment is, you know, the Bible complexity, this is brilliant? No. What's the greatest commandment? What's the most important discipline to have as a Christian or as a Muslim? Sorry, look, look, sorry if I raise my. This is how. Okay, this is okay. my demeanor. I'm not being raised. It's just my demeanor. I apologize. The reason it's not easy for me to say is because exactly all these different Bible versions are always confusing. But you just, you just, look, 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 you just said that you're a follower of Christ. You just said you're a follower of Christ, and you don't know what's the greatest commandment, country Jesus. The Shema, the Lord our God. And what did you say? Worship uh, the Lord our God. The Lord is one. And uh, and love him with all your oh. heart and your mind. Okay, so now the question is, does your mind make sense that the tree is God? Does your mind make sense that Jesus is God? Jesus used to eat and drink. He used to pray to the Father, that he became a baby. He's been breastfed by his mom. You believe this is God? This doesn't agree I with your heart and your mind. It doesn't. And this is the beauty about Islam is... say it's more complicated than that because... Uh, oh, it's more different. complicated. Yeah, yeah. God is... <laughs> You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, I agree with you. You know, I agree with you to a certain yeah, yeah, extent. This is, this no, 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 this David, I agree for the sake of, I agree with you to a certain extent because you Christians, you complicated and that's what we call I, mystery. You're calling me well, a Christian again, which I don't think is fine. All right, all right, for, okay, label to, I mean, well, I, I have definitely Christians, been a Christian. Christians been or those who follow the Bible, those who follow the Bible, you know, or they uh, appeal to the church, they say that the Trinity is a mystery. It's a mystery because it's a logical problem. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Islam, the concept of God, I tell you, the concept is not correct. The understanding, the belief in God aligns, aligns with your heart and your mind. Look, if I recite this, this chapter in the Quran, which is Surah Al-Ikhlas, Surah Tawheed, that, say he's Allah one and only. 
the Harvard University and someone who works in a farm can understand. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let, let me complete, let me complete. They will not have any confusion. Qul huwa Allahu ahad says Allah one and unique, one and only. Someone from Harvard University will understand, someone from a farm will understand. Okay, there's no, pro there's no confusion. Allah who's samad, Allah the self-sufficient, meaning he's not in need of anything. Rather, his creation needs him. A Harvard University professor can understand this. A farmer can understand this. Lam yalid walam yulad. A kid can understand this. Lam yalid walam yulad. He begets not, nor is he begotten. Now, a Harvard University can understand this, and a farmer or a child can understand this. Walam yakullahu kufun ahad. There's no co equal with. There's nothing like him. A Harvard University professor can understand this. A child or farmer can understand this. There's no confusion. It's so simple and understand it. The Christian concept of God, it is so confusing. How can you understand it? It's very simple. Do you not get the point? This is the reason why Islam aligns with your mind and your heart. Yeah, it agrees. To, rather than trying to understand what I'm saying, do you believe in the? Do you believe you're, in the? You're asking me these yes/no questions, and it's not as simple as a yes/no thing. Because, because you're say, not sure about yourself. No, 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 no. I asked you, what is your understanding no, about God? I'm not sure that you understand. Do you believe what in God? I, do you believe in God? Mean if I said okay, yes. when I ask you a question, it means a rhetorical question for you to think. Do you believe in God? What, what who is God? That? Who is God? What do you mean by okay, that? Okay, I'm asking you. Who is God according to you? God's the author of the Bible. That's the scripture revelation, but who and is God? The creator. I mean, that's, that's good, the creator. The Bible, good, right? now we get to the book. Creator, what else? Right. How many gods are there? Well, many gods. Many gods? Many gods. Alongside many. with the creator. But God, but God the creator is God of God, Lord of Lord, King of Kings. Okay, good. So, the, so, so his create. I, I don't want to so, disagree so with David, you. So David, David, his creation, are they God? Are we God? Well, like he says, ye are gods. What does that mean? I've, I've already explained to you what it means. No, 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 but you... It's a language aspect. You don't know the language. But, you, I don't, but I don't believe you know the language. It means either. Elohim, meaning representative or someone who yeah, rules of God's law. When Jesus called but that is a, that David, is... David, when Jesus said the Israelites are Elohim, are gods, is Jesus saying Israelites are God? They deserve to be worshipped. But does it, does, it, does it? So your version of God is that God it's not my version. deserves it's not to my be version. It's, a, it's, it's the fitra. It's something that aligns with your heart and your mind. And God has given us this moral right. compass. Okay, Makes but... sense. Makes sense. And you can't dispute that. You can't dispute the belief in God in Islam because it makes sense. Christianity, no, it I is can. illogical, I can. irrational. I can wait to depart from the Quran. So you and defer. Is, so you def is, wait, wait. So David, you, no, I would hold you to the Quran, but I would not hold you to any of your scholarship. No, 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 no. no. Wait, wait, wait. Do you not, wait, 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 wait. The Quran, the Quran is a revelation, but the revelation connects to our fitra. It connects to our uh, to our natural inclination, right? So what the Quran is doing? The Quran is a revelation from God given to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and it was brought down by Angel Gabriel, right? The revelation, it connects to our fitrah. It confirms our fitrah. That's the reason why when you say Allah is one and only, that agrees with your heart. Do you agree with that? Yeah, it agrees with your heart. But the Quran is not here. Wait, wait, wait. The Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not reveal things that is absurd. Things that will not make sense to us, irrational. For example, God becomes that a man. This not, is irrational and it, on, it is absurd. Hang on, you're making an argument here. There are things that can seem absurd to someone that you later accept. So why is it called the logical problem of uh, Trinity in, 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 in Christianity? Fuck, why? Look, fuck the Trinity. No, no, no. Don't, 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 don't swear. Don't swear. Forget about the word Trinity. What, you still haven't explained to me who is God. You said God is the creator. Fantastic. What else? Is he one? I mean, the thing is, it's, it's not... You're not being clear with me. Yeah. No, but, yeah. But, I, we'll end it. We'll end the discussion. No, no, here, David. no. But it's not that. It's yeah. not as simple as that because because there's aspects to God. Yeah. Because like, because. So there's aspects because, of God that God sees. Because you, right? because you know because Christian. That's, that's, because that's, because not, that's something you didn't mention. It's because the one that sees you in here. Yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. But like <laughs> Allah says in the Quran, "Laysa kamit fi shay wa huwa samil basir." So in some sense, God is is the entirety of the understanding of God. It's not something that you can sum up in a few sentences. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it in a very... Unless it's something uh, how that's come, wait, 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 How come the belief in Allah is so succinct and concise that there's no confusion? But Do you think... Wait, wait. Doesn't, doesn't the Bible say God is not the author of confusion? So why would, you conf way. why would you confuse... But I don't think that's right. <laughs> then you're rejecting your own book. Take care of yourself, no, no, David. No, 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 no. Take no, it, take no, it. No, take care, David. That's is that a nice discussion? Thing. Let's leave on no, a good... No, wait, on a wait, good wait, 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 wait. Yeah. That's what, Paul, that's what Paul wrote. Oh, so you reject Paul? Yeah, we reject Paul as well, yeah. So what do you we accept in the Paul. New Testament? What do you accept in the New Testament? So, uh, but the thing is, 
Paul is very much part of the fight. Because I agree with that. I agree. Big, I agree. And but that's prefigured in the Old Testament. Okay. So, so you, you believe Paul is not a reliable source of information to take from? Well, was he in the Old Testament? Who, Paul? Saul. Saul is Paul. Saul no. prefigured in the Old Testament by Saul. Oh, he's prefigured in the Old Testament. So now I'm asking you the question. Right. In First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 23, Paul says that there's a prophecy in the Old Testament that Jesus will die and he'll be raised on the third day. Now there was no, uh, there was no Gospels written at that time. There was no Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Because well, okay, wait, no, wait, wait, that's, that's, that's wait, 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 wait. I challenge you. No, I challenge you to point me a single prophecy in the Old Testament where Jesus will be buried and raised on the third day. Give me one prophecy. You won't, find it. you won't find it. You won't no, find no, no, it. You won't find it. We'll be honest. Like, it's, not, it's not like a trick question. You well, just won't find well, it. Well, the, the yeah, prophecy no, refers to is Jonah. Well, if you say if you say Paul is pre no wait 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 David, if you say Paul is prefigured in the Old Testament, Paul is not to be trusted. So he's a liar. Right, right. So, so he's a liar. Okay, so, but this is how I treat Paul in exactly the same way I would treat anyone else. What, including Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? But including I, the prophet. Is exactly the same way I treat Jesus. I don't think, oh, well, this is right because Jesus claimed it. I believe in G what Jesus said because I verify what he says against against the Old Testament. Against so what's your standard of so what's your what's your standard of criteria then? What's your criteria then? At the mouth of two or three witnesses is the truth established. So who were the witnesses of Jesus? The Father. The father. His witness was the father. Yeah. You're only going by what the by what the gospels say. Uh, were there disciples of Jesus around him? Was Mark there? No, exactly. I think. So who was Mark, there? Like Mark and Luke. Yeah. Okay. Here's, I'm, I'm just trying to state some facts now that are not. Okay. So Mark and Luke, they're forty chapters. Okay. That's the same amount of years that the children of Israel mm. were in the wilderness. You're not answering my question. Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they disciples of Jesus? Are they? Were they? Where did, did they sit? Did they eat? Did they? Did no. They, no. Good. No. Good. No, but I'm, so, I'm so why are you taking the word for it? The thing is, you've often asked me. To, this is the reason why. On, wait, 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 wait. On, Let me go complete. On. Go on, David. You've go often on. said that to me. Go on. And I've. I've the many points I wish to answer, and you've shut me down before I've answered. Okay, I apologize. And that's, that's, that's. I apologize, difficult. I apologize, difficult. carry on, I apologize, difficult. carry on, David. Number of number. Carry on, carry on. Mark, the Gospel of Mark, has 678 verses. Okay. If you cut off the last 12, yeah. there are 666 verses. Okay. Oh, that, the that's beast. one reason. The beast. Not to read. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could find that in the Hindu scriptures. I could do that in, with the Quran. I could do anything. Is that your reason why you believe the Bible is the word of God? That's why it's called the mark of the beast. Is that why? <laughs> you do know there was no. You, you do know they made up the names Mark, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. This is why it's called the Q source. So meaning, you do know wait, 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 wait. God is Almighty. Wait, wait, wait. wait. And he can do all wait, wait, wait. these things. David, now, you, now you're becoming emotional. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, you calm do down. Know that. calm down David. You know that. Calm down, David. Calm down. Calm down. You do know Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. These are names that did not exist in the manuscript. They yes. were made up because they all got it from a Q source. Do you know what Q source mean? In German, no, Quayla. Wait, 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 wait. It means it comes from an unknown source. They all got it from an unknown source. And now they named it Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The Bible are listed Just the read Bible. the MacArthur Study Bible. It says Matthew, Mark is I don't in, in the MacArthur. These are your, these MacArthur are your scholars. MacArthur isn't God. These are your scholars. These are your scholars. These are your scholars. These my are... scholars. My scholar is Jesus. All right. And what did Jesus say about the God? What did he say about God? In... Did he have Matthew? Read, did, if you want to know did, what he said about did, God, did, did, read wait, the wait, authorized wait, version. David, did, did, did Jesus have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in his arm? Did he have King James version in his arms? You didn't. No, there's prophecy about the King James version. Do you believe what he just said? Take care of yourself, David. Look, look, look. We'll, we'll end the discussion. Look, if, if I look, if I offend you, I apologize. It's just my demeanor. Look, when I raise my face, it doesn't, I'm being rude. So the it's just my demeanor. Thing is I'm trying to agree with you. Yeah. I'm trying to establish that the Quran is perfect. But you're not engaging with me. Oh, no, so no, you believe no, the wait, Quran wait, is no, perfect? No, no. I can say, but okay. I'm, I am. When I, when I say something and it sounds tangential, it's not that I'm trying to. I'm, it's not that I'm trying to. I'm just. Avoid the I'm point. just trying to gain I'm clarity to from. Explain the point. 
because sometimes you need to have an understanding that's 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 why I read the Bible. The that's view, why I, look, I, I, I even have the, the Jew, I even have because the Jew. I can say I believe in God. David, I can say, but I believe on Jesus. I David, I have the Jewish study Bible. I have the New International Version. Yeah, but I wait, I wait, 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 wait. I have even the Tanakh, even the Tanakh sure, itself. Sure. I've got it in at home, right? So I, so I'm not, I'm not, I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm not talking without knowledge. I'm speaking with knowledge, right? But and I'm giving of, you the reality. I'm giving you the reality. Things, but some of the things that you brought up, which such is as about the idea about Sinaiticus, have not drawn from those sources. They've drawn from. Uh, you do know the New International Version is based upon the Codex Sinaiticus. You do know that. Not the King James. Unless it's I know. Uh, did, did I? Did I ever dispute with that? I never disputed that. I'm just saying right. that. I'm no, no, no. See, see. You always. You see. You need to listen attentively, right? I'm trying to make you the need point. To listen to my point. I, I have listened that. to your point. The text. No, you have not. But you haven't engaged because I asked you. Do you believe in one God? Or do you believe the concept of God in That's Islam? That's witchcraft. Do you believe the concept of God in but Islam? But do you understand what I meant? Do you, by no, no, no. When I quoted to you that God is one and only, He's unique. There's nothing like His creation. He doesn't produce children. He doesn't. He's not born. That's do you just, agree with that? That's just a form of words. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? But yes, in some sense. No, in some sense. Okay. No, in what sense? I want to know that. I mean, look. It depends what you mean by that. Okay, so when we say one and only, is that is that difficult for you to understand what that means? Well, like I say, people worship different gods. No, I'm talking about, but do you believe that this I'm tree deserves God, to be? No, no. That, that, that God, the creator, I know. is God over them all. Right? I hear, okay, okay. But, but we can still use the word God, so it's not as simple as that. Elohim I know you, I, 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 know, I know you're appealing to the Bible, and I've already explained to you, Elohim does not necessarily mean all the time but that is okay, divine but that's an assertion where's your humility oh well, speak to the rabbi speak to jews here they know the jewish I language don't trust what the rabbi said. I do the same oh but you, you trust do. yourself that you don't know the hebrew language you don't know the jewish bible properly what do you mean i don't know the hebrew language so you t okay so you don't know elohim you don't know elohim can be used for humans as well can be it's not only for jesus it's used for the israelites and no israelite no jew would ever say israelites are divine they would never say that uh, you don't know this right? Go and speak, go and speak, go and speak, go and speak to Jews. Go and speak to Jews. Do you know, it's a blasphemy. Do you know why? Because it contradicts. You see, when, when, when you read the Bible, you have to read the Bible in totality, even with the Quran, any scripture, Hindu scripture. But you're starting with your conclusion that Elohim can't. No, you have to read, no, you have to read in totality. Yeah? Now, you said that Elohim can mean God's anything. Fine. But in Hosea chapter 11, verse 9, it said God is not a man. How do you reconcile both? Moses was a man. And he says God is not a man. God is not a man that he should repent. No, 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 no. I'm asking you, in Hosea 11 verse 9, it says God is not a man. And in Exodus chapter 7 verse 1, it says Moses was made as Elohim, as God to Pharaoh. Was Moses a man? Was he human, okay, flesh, in, flesh and blood? The thing is, no, no, answer we the don't question. use the word please, man in the please, same way that we're please, answer answer the the word Please, man. answer the question. Is Moses? But you tried to just get me to answer a question without you. David, my own David, words. look. If you don't want to answer, no problem. It's for you but to you think about. But you just to say yes or no. Jesus never asked to answer questions like that. They didn't well, say, we're not talking to the, Jesus. Wait, 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 no, wait. Yeah, no, we're no, not no, talking seriously. to Jesus. I'm but talking to you. But then, but then let okay, me if you don't, no, no, no. But you're not answering the question. If you answer the question, then you can uh, you can ask questions to me. In fact, I answered all of your questions before, didn't I? But you, okay, there's a fund of, okay, there's a fund I respected you, you should respect me. If I'm asking you a question, you should answer. And I respected you right from the beginning. You asked me, you asked me, you know, where does the Quran say that is the final revelation? What I'm um, is what, my answer, and you're not letting me finish it. But you said, but you're saying it's complicated. That's not an answer. I'm asking you, is Moses, was he a man, no, yes or no? that's the beginning of an answer. I'm saying there's nuance there. You can't just it's say, a binary you, option. No, yeah, exactly you can't say you don't know. That's, yes, that's, it's yes or no. It's not, it's a binary option. There's no third option. But people can say the opposite thing and mean the same thing. Is Moses a man, yes or no? He was a god. I mean, was he a man, yes or no? He, he was a god. That's you see, you see, you see, made, you, god made him you see, now David, Pharaoh. now David, you have to concede this contradiction in the Bible, according to your understanding. Because it says Moses was made as Elohim to Pharaoh. He was made as a god to Pharaoh, which he was a man. And in Hosea, in Hosea 11, 9, it says God is not a man. So how do you reconcile so both? To dispute the Bible. I'm not here to dispute. I'm here. I'm, 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 I'm saving you. I'm saving you from the contradiction. I'm saving you. Which is, it means that Moses cannot be, cannot un no, understood no, God as divine. Language it means... Okay, it means, there's a fundamental thing about language. That's why I said. That. This is why I said but all the language time. Language does not work by translating things into logical propositions. You know, subhanallah. One of the things that, the things that Jesus quoted was seeing they see not. Yeah, in, in Matthew. Look, I've read the Bible. Possibly look, Matthew 13, 13. See, hear the hear not, see the see not, neither can they understand. So I read the Bible. Look, 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 look. With all due respect, David, I think 
You know, so it depends what you mean by sin. You know, you know what, you know what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He says in Surah Three, Ayah Seventy-Eight. Allah says that they recite the book, but they twist the lisan. You know what lisan mean? Many different meanings, but lisan means in the language, with the tongue. This is exactly what you're doing. This is exactly what you, you're. You're accusing me. Of no, 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 no. Uh, okay, if you want to call accusing, I am accusing you because you're. So I've got. You. I've answered all of your questions. Because you're not answered. You I've, an I've answered, what answered what all of your questions. Because the Bible does not use the word man and did, God. In the okay, way that you did okay? Did I did okay? Did I answer say both, David? Both can be true. David, in order for a discussion to work, we have to answer each other's questions. I answered all of your questions at the beginning. You have now, to, now, 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 I, now, David, David. Let I, me complete. No, 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 no. I'm trying to make a point, David. I am trying to make a point. I've been nothing to do but I, I was. Look, look. You asked. Look, didn't you ask me questions at the beginning, and I answered all of them. So now you should have the courtesy to answer my question. You're not letting me answer your question. Okay, I'll ask you again. It says in Exodus chapter 7 verse 1, Moses was made as Elohim to, to Pharaoh. To some box, okay, if this then is... God doesn't take away then you don't need to answer then. Say, I'll think about it. Okay, it says... It, it, this, is my, um, this is my analysis. You don't have to agree with me. Right. We can agree to disagree. I'm not, I'm not imposing on you. I'm not coercing you. You. You, can decide, I don't know. you say you don't know, okay? In, in Exodus chapter 7 verse 1, it says Moses was made as Elohim to Pharaoh. Moses was a man. No, no one will dispute that. Right. If you read in Hosea chapter 11 verse 9, it says God is not a man. How do you reconcile both? Well, but that's the point of scripture, is to bring you to a higher understanding of reconciling both. How do I reconcile both? Yes. Because yes. sometimes the word man refers to men who are not born of God, and, and God refers to... Who are not the born of God. God refers Can you to, clarify that? And well, there's a passage in, 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 in Psalms 103. Mm -hmm. We'll end the discussion a couple of minutes because I'm fasting, by the way. So <laughs> you're doing well. Oh, mm. Thank you, David. You as well. You as well. David. Bless you, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Someone afraid. By the way, if I raise my voice and it's just my passion, it's my demeanour. I'm not being rude. <laughs> okay. Some people think I'm being rude about. But, I'm but this is what I find is that if I'm being trying to trapped into a logical box rather than just be allowing to explain myself because some some concepts are not simple some you've gone to, to a lot of different places to explain something okay and maybe if you say it's simple it's just yes or no because i can say oh i believe in jesus christ and nothing like that is at all true because it's easy to have a form of words and mean some and like well that's not necessarily there's a verse right that goes something like how come maybe you can clarify you're good at yeah. no one has seen god how come what how come oh, my yeah go on go on he even says in the Bible, no one has seen God, even in the New Testament. No one has seen God. Ex 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 but there's, a, uh, there's an exception to that. Which is? Book of Job, uh, chapter 25, verse 46. Oh, how he's can ringing man be justified? How can man be justified with God? Hmm. How can he be clean that is born of a woman? Subhanallah. That's it. It's so crystal clear. It's crystal well, clear. There's an answer to that in, in, in uh, Psalm 119. Uh, how, shall, how shall a man cleanse his way except by giving heed to thy commandments? Okay. Answer the question about the man. How, so, how do you understand when uh, a man? Because you said. Question, Quran, I'm sorry? I'm just saying, it's just a verse. This is a verse. It says very clearly. Look up the verse and we'll come to that. I'm not sure who's speaking You're draining You're helping me, man. You're helping me. It was a great discussion with you because you know we've been respectful. We have a good discussion. Yeah, sometimes we can have a heated discussion. Yeah. The thing you is, know, that's I've fine. No problem. No problem. What would help me more 
I'm like, this is a problem with all our, these kind of arguments, is that I'd like to understand more about your position. And when I'm arguing against you, I'm often trying to separate what you're saying from what yeah. the Quran says. And I don't really know very much about the Quran. And like, sometimes That's fine. You're, you're, you're being forceful about an interpretation, and it's like, Allah has to so do you that to me so, directly. So do you feel like I've been coercing you? So do you feel like I've been coercing you? I'm trapping you in a box. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just making you think. Right. But when you say, when you say, you have to answer this yes/no question in this way, and then you say, I'm not. That I, unless I answer it yes or no, I don't. I don't like that style of thing because it's like, have you stopped dating your wife? Right. You can. You can ask a question in such a way that I can answer yes or no, and you might think that. But I'm to be fair. Or, or but right to be fair, wrong. David, I did ask you the. Uh, 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 I did ask you a question. How do you reconcile both? Well, we haven't got to that yet. I mean, I go, go away and think about it. Yeah. Like, with anything else. So let's forget about the binary option. I'll take that back now. How do you reconcile both? Um, and this is what I'm trying to get to, but I'm not finding the thing that I would expect. Okay, to sure, sure. Um, also, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. As for man. So this is... Yeah. Like a, a, as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. We know our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. Mm -hmm. So he's saying... Um, The Lord is merciful and gracious. This is such the key verse. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Right? Let me read it. Plenteous in mercy. Merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous I agree with in that. Mercy. I agree with that passage. Right. Yeah. He will not always chide, and neither will he keep his anger forever. Good. He's not dealt with us after our sins, nor will he reward us according to our iniquities. Okay. Because the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Of course, that's very consistent with the Islamic understanding. As yeah. far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Good. Okay. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. For he knoweth our frame, that he, he remembereth that we are dust. That you're only talking about the attributes of God. God right, is I mean, merciful wait, to his creation, wait, wait. so... As for man, okay. his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. Mm -hmm. For the wind passeth over it, and is gone, and the face thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is for everlasting to everlasting. Like a, upon I don't know I'm good. But fear him, and his ch righteousness unto children's children. Yes. Now the way I've understood this, is that it's contrasting the people that fear God, that are, uh, back in Genesis are called the children of God, or, yes. or the, the sons of God. Yes. And man can be used to mean the people that don't fear God. Of course, I agree with that. What's the issue? I'm, I, no, no, I don't think. I, no, I don't think so, you're. No, no, so no, no. A child of God is not necessarily referred to as a man. No, it. No, it's only contrasted between God's love to His creation and what the creation should give back to the Creator. So I'm asking you again, how do you reconcile both that Moses is God who is a man, and in Hosea 11:9, God is not a man. Because this is the useful thing to actually go to the, what, the passage sure, sure. rather than talk around it. Yeah. Because it's very easy to read. Of course, no problem. But right. I'm the one that's giving you all the references, so it's for you to check. Right. Chapter 11, verse 9. Chapter 11, verse 9. I am God and not man. So that's it. Very explicit. So how do you reconcile both? If you don't know, then you don't know. Okay. And we just leave, leave the discussion here. And if you... But yeah, yeah, but how, we, can how, open, we can have an open discussion about it. No, 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 no. What I don't, no. What I don't like is, I, I don't like beating around the bush. If you don't know the answer, what you could say is that, I don't know how often you come to Speaker's Corner, right? You could just say that, look, I'll have a think about it. You know, next week I'll do my research, I'll come back. And I'm always here, well, like most, most of the time, yeah? And, 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 and look, David, David, if you ask me uh, certain questions about Islam, Right? right, and if I don't know, I'll say to you, I don't know, and I will look and research. That's right. honesty, right? So if you don't well, have obviously, an obviously, but I can give you my partial understanding, and then you can fill in the, the details. No, no, but but, but right, but right now, D David, if you don't know how to answer, or you're not answering the question directly, which you haven't been for, I think this is like the fifth time you're trying. Then I think we're just wasting our time. What you could okay, do, okay. Well, go, go home, thing. research, and come Jesus back. Jesus was not alive at this point. 
It doesn't mean to say that he wasn't born. Uh, nothing about born, he's a man. I'm just saying, oh, you, you see, you're not addressing the no, point. No, no, there's a present tense there. I'm God and not man. They, he doesn't say I'm God and can never be man. No, there's a difference between God is and what God does. So God will not do things that is absurd. Meaning God will no, not enter into no, his creation that's, because he becomes a creation. That's your idea. Of but that's the country of the Bible. God is not a man. God can do anything. So God can, so God can cease to exist. No, 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 Take, seriously, no. David, seriously, David, that, that, you see, now you're, you're going to say, I trapped the box, I, and I'm not. We no, will no, do but, it, but David. this is the sentence which is, that's true. You can have atheists. Now, David, you know what? Just, How can anyone but not be David, aware of the existence like, of I, I'm fasting as well. I, I, sometimes my patience can be out of the window, so I don't want to escalate this. What I said to you, that, look, the question that I asked you, I, I want you to think about it. Read Exodus chapter 7, verse 1, and compare with Hosea 11, 9. And you still insist well, yes, that God is, can be this man. Is, this is, this you, you still insist that God is is man here. God can be man. Uh, so how do you reconcile both? Now, why no, I want no, you no, to let me? Do you want me to answer? Because he says God is not man. He doesn't say God can never be man. God can do anything. If he's if he is, then he can never be something. It's very simple. Why? Because all right, can God? Would God cease to exist? The way that that can happen. No, Allah says in the Quran, Inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. Allah is but capable to do all things. It, but he will not do, so wait, wait. He will not do things that is absurd, that would befit his majesty. Okay. For example, God. Is it day or night? Huh? Is it day or is it night? It's day. Then sure? Yes, it's day. So I've answered the question. So but now. But it's night though. Huh? It's night though. Well, night means darkness, and day means there's brightness. And you see but brightness. You no, no, so, no, 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 David, but now, now what you do? You're, you're, no, no, you're calling sophistry. This is sophistry. I'm not interested in sophistry. I'm no, not no, interested no, in I'm philosophy. Making point. I'm making a point. Well, what point are you making? Millions of people, maybe billions, they're in darkness right now, and it's dark. No, you pointed up. So I took it the literal meaning. Is it day or night? You didn't say darkness or light. What do you mean by darkness? Even Allah says in the Quran. Uh, uh, even Allah says in the Quran. Even, wait, 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 Allah, wait, 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 wait. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Ibrahim, Surah 14, Ayah 2. Allah says the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was sent to bring people out of darkness into light. What does darkness mean here? Darkness right. means ignorance and light into guidance, knowledge. Right. Okay. So, 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 when you said, "Is it day or night?" You're talking about <laughs> you're, you're talking about the rotation of the earth. You're talking about the sun and the moon. So I'm answering your question directly. No, it's a day. And, uh, and you say, but how do you know it's not night? And I say, but because the day has brightness and light and night doesn't. So what I'm asking you, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. But if you want to play this sophistry game, I'm, I'm not, not interested. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to deceive da you. Da David, 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 look, look, look. What I want you to do, yeah? What I want you to do, you don't need to answer the question. If you don't have the, if you, it's no embarrassment whatsoever. Because look, you, you can ask me certain questions about Islam. Yeah, and I wouldn't know. I'll just say, look, I'll, I'll research and I'll give you answer next week. I've got ha an answer for you. you well, I, I've, I've tried it. it for the past 10, 15 minutes and you haven't. So what I'm saying is that what you can do, David, is please look into those passages, have a think about it, do your research, and then come back to me. Yeah? Well, it might be many moons because... No problem, no problem. Because, because I'm, I'm here quite a Oh, where do you live? Well, I live here. Okay, you live here. Okay, no problem. Uh, you don't want to say it, but uh, no, it's no, a pleasure no, speaking to you, David. No problem, no problem. Pleasure speaking to you, David. Take care. Take care, David. <laughs> it's been a while. I, I'm it's really, like, really tired, like, David. But this is the most frustrating thing about not being able to, able to finish. I, I answered all of your questions right from the beginning. Now, as a courtesy respect, you, you should be answering I, my questions. You asked me. I am answering your questions. You, 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 no, no, you, you, no, no. You answered. Look, you asked me the question. Define for me worship, and I gave you the definition you, okay, of worship. You answered the question. Is it day or night? I'm trying to make. A point I answered the question. <laughs> but it's night. Millions of people. So now you're insisting. Now you're insisting that my answer is wrong. So. Uh, you're doing exactly the same that I'm doing to you. Right, right, exactly. I don't want to become a tic tac. Let me finish. <laughs> Let me finish. There are billions of people on the other side of the planet who are in darkness. David. But, no, but seriously, they, I to can't, them, it's not. I can't, I, can't, I can't do this with you. David, it's been a great discussion. Just have a think about the passage that how can you reconcile both that Moses is Elohim and then God is not a man at the same time? So just have a think about he, it. He can, he can become a man. Uh, Take care of yourself. But he doesn't say that. Take care of yourself. And also in the in the Quran, it doesn't say. Yeah. Uh, I, he says I don't forget. Um, I don't forget. But he doesn't say I never begot. He doesn't begot. One one two. Yeah. One one two. Three, yeah. Verse three. Let me read. Never begot. Yeah. He begets not nor is he begets not nor is he begotten. Meaning Allah will not do things that does not befit His no, Majesty. Well, that's what it says. Allah. No. 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 I'm no. I'm just no. saying what it says. No. 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 Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has no deficiency. He's perfect. Someone who is born has a beginning is a deficiency, meaning he's dependent. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is 
a samad. He's independent, self-sufficient. So, so if, if so, if God was born, is that a perfect God? It is absurd. A God that couldn't. It is absurd. It is. It is absurd, David. It is absurd. But you can't. It is. It is absurd to say that. God, okay, well, it's you, absurd. Look, look, look. God, God, God Allah, true. Allah, I mean, subhanahu, Allah, your, Allah, Allah, God, subhanahu, your... Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, many places in the Quran, in Allah, ala kulli shayin qadir. Indeed, Allah is capable to do all things. But thing in Arabic, shay means uh, he will not do it as absurd. It means it's, it's rational. So God will not, God, God will not seize and not seize at the same time. It's absurdity. Okay. That's absurd. Before do you understand? God, God, wait, wait. God, by definition, he has no beginning, no end. And you say God is born. This is absurd. It's it's it's, it's a question of absurdity. It's like saying, um, is wait. It's like saying it's like it's like asking you, how does the blue taste like? That's that's what you're that's what you're 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 you're, you're asking me. God will not do but things that's that absurd. Not completely absurd. Huh? That's not completely absurd. Okay. Well, this is according to you. Yeah. But God is exactly. absurd. Wait, exactly. God will not do things that's absurd. You need you need you need a bit more humility. Huh? You need a bit more humility. Now, now, now you're playing like a victim card. And I need to be more okay, humility. Yeah. I, I've already said to you right from the beginning, this is my demeanor. And I think we should end the discussion. It's been over an hour, David. Okay, fair enough. Yeah? Take a day. Look, if I offended you, look, look, if I offended you, I apologize in advance. It's not my intention. It's just sometimes my passion, my demeanor. But I have no ill feelings towards you. I just want you to think. And I will think what you have to say as well. I'll, I'll, I'll double check again Codex and Atticus and I'll give you the evidence. No problem. No problem. But I know for sure that Codex and Atticus is back in the fourth century. Okay. Take care, David. Ask, ask your scholars. May Allah guide you. Date. May Allah guide you. But look at the carbon dating of the Standard Codex Fanatics. Yes, fourth century. No, they haven't carbon dated. The only part of the used to you only have P sixty six, which is in the first century, and it's the size of a credit card. That's what you have. Take care, so David. Have a good, have a good discussion, David. How many ancient have a good day. Qurans do you have? Huh? How many ancient Qurans do you have? Ancient Qurans. What do you mean by that? Do you have any? Do you have? Well, uh, well, we don't rely, well, well, we don't rely on the manuscripts because we go by the oral tradition. It's memorized. And even, even if you want to talk about the written manuscript, we have complete Quran in the first century Hijri within the life, within the, the Prophet Sallallahu right? Which is in Topkapi in Sana'a. But I don't use uh, manuscript arguments because that, I don't rely upon that. We got, we got. But that's the reason why you're comparing uh, apples with oranges. That's the problem. You're comparing the Quran with the Bible, and these two are completely different. If you want to scrutinize the Quran, you should scrutinize the the the, the, the criteria of what we're using, which is memorization, oral tradition. So, if you want to criticize the Quran, you should criticize the oral tradition. If the Bible, on the other hand, you're relying on the manuscript, which is the reason why I'm bringing up about Codex Sinaiticus, Texts of Receptors, because you're relying on the manuscripts. I'm, I'm That's what I'm saying. I'm seriously not. Look, look, look. You're comparing apples with oranges. That's what you're doing. You're you, you cannot. Me with you can, no, no. You cannot. Com, no, no, you cannot compare the historicity of the Quran. You cannot. Uh, you cannot apply the same standard with the Bible because our standard is oral, oral transmission. Even written transmission, alhamdulillah, is preserved. But even if you take, even if you bring all the copies of the Quran and you burn it in the sea, it will come back within 24 hours in the original format. Why? Because it's memorized. So, and. Therefore, you cannot equate, you cannot, crit, you cannot criticize the historicity of the Quran by using. But I'm not trying to. No, 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 no. I'm saying you're using this. You're using. But you're a, using arguments against me that no, I don't accept. No, David, you're using. No, no. What I'm saying to you, I, no, look. I know you have a good intention, but I'm just clarifying. You're using the wrong tool to scrutinize the Quran. If you're you, using the wrong tool to criticize my beliefs when you when you rely no, on because, the secular scholars. No, because 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 Christians are relying on, on the manuscripts. No, That's I, what you're doing. Well, they, do, they can do what they like. I don't okay, I'll, I'll, I'll no, but seriously, you're trying to put take, me in the Take care, sir, David. Have, have a good day. Wrong. Have a good you're day. The are wrong Sorry if I offended you. I apologize. But, I, this, but, I do but, in advance. May Allah guide you. May Allah guide you. Take care. Take care, David. Okay, take care. Thank you. Thank you, David. Okay.